cleanup efforts continue in East Palestine this morning. The EPA now reporting that it's conducting 596 home indoor air screenings and is monitoring air quality at 29 stations throughout the community. The agency has not detected any vinyl chloride or hydrogen chloride from last month's train derailment. Meanwhile, over the weekend, Norfolk Southern started evacuating contaminated soil at the accident site. Well, the derailments are putting federal safety regulations in the spotlight. Back in 2018, a train safety rule was repealed by the Department of Transportation. But did this change make things more dangerous for trains carrying hazardous material? Brandon Lewis verifies. After the train derailment in East Palestine, Ohio, Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg posted this tweet. He claims that five years ago, the Department of Transportation withdrew a law that would have improved the brakes on some freight trains carrying hazardous chemicals. Several Verify viewers emailed our team to ask if this is true. So let's verify. Did the Department of Transportation repeal a train safety rule in 2018? Our sources are the Department of Transportation, the Federal Register, the National Transportation Safety Board, the Harvard University Environmental and Energy Law Program, and the Sheet, Metal, Air, Rail, and Transportation Workers, or SMART Union. Most trains around the world come to a stop using compressed air brakes in each car individually. A newer system uses electronically controlled pneumatic brakes, or ECP, to simultaneously stop the entire train together. The SMART Union says this helps trains stop up to 70% faster. In May 2015, in the wake of two high-profile derailments, the DOT released a rule requiring trains carrying highly flammable, hazardous material to install ECP brakes. But two years later, the DOT determined that the cost of ECP brakes outweighed their benefit and, in 2018, reversed the rule. So, yes, the Department of Transportation did repeal a train safety rule in 2018. The National Transportation Safety Board says even if this rule was still in effect, it would not have prevented the derailment in East Palestine. That train was transporting a mixture of cargo, including just three cars holding highly flammable hazardous material. The rule required ECP on mixed trains with more than 35 cars carrying this type of material. With your Verify, I'm Brandon Lewis.